Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Allie. I'm a mom who loves DIY, simple living, and making a house into a home on a budget. If you have been here for any length of time, you know by now that I really don't like paying full price for pretty much anything. Um, I love to thrift, I love to um, shop at Hobby Lobby when it's 50% off. I just, there's some sort of thrill for me of being able to stick to my budget and or come in underneath my budget. Um, I find like this thrill in spending like nothing on something that turns out really cute. So today's project is along those lines. I got it from my Goodwill, my favorite Goodwill, and it's this cute pottery vase. It was originally $30 from Hobby Lobby. Looks like it was maybe clearanced and then $6.99 at Goodwill. So I think that's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good size. It's heavy. It's definitely like terracotta or something. I found a vase that's similar in shape on restorationhardware.com. So that is what I'm going to mimic. It's a white vase similar to this. It's textured. It's, um, I can't remember what material that one was, but uh, it looked very similar to this. So I'm going to attempt to dupe that. Of course, the Restoration Hardware vase, it came in a collection of two, one bigger, one smaller. And um, it was like three to $400 for the group of two vases. So of course that's not in my budget. If it is in your budget, that's great. But if you want to, um, save some money and be able to spend money elsewhere by mimicking the look, then that is what we're going to do today. So I do like this face a lot. I don't love the orange and green tones personally. Um, I tend to stick with more neutrals and it just feels a little too colorful to me um, for my personal preference. So that is why um, I'm going to redo it, but I did love the shape and the size and just that it feels so heavy. And obviously $6.99, you can't beat that. So uh, we're going to give it a little makeover and it's going to be great. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna try a new technique today that um, I've kind of dabbled with before, but um, I haven't shown you guys. So, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so I have here my vase. I have um, this paint, which I actually, Another uh, budget-friendly hack for you. If you don't know about this already, Lowe's and Home Depot, probably like Ace Hardware and other places like that, they have like a reject um, or like a oops counter, usually where there's like mess up paints where they mixed it and then it wasn't what the customer wanted. So they sell it at a discounted rate. So I got this quart of kind of this pretty beige for 125 and it's just a sample. So it's um, perfect for any sort of project. A lot of times they're like 50 cents. So I like to look there. They have gallons usually for like 12 bucks, nine bucks maybe. Um, quartz are usually $2. So if you find a color you like, it's really worth it. So yeah, instead of going with an actual white, I'm gonna go with this kind of like light beige look um, with the Restoration Hardware Vase as my inspiration. So what I'm gonna do first, see if I can get this open first. Okay, got it open. Okay, cute. I like the color a lot. It's just like a warm, it's kind of a beigey, but not like a boring beige. Let's see. It's actually pretty like creamy white, honestly. So, anybody see that? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix some baking soda with it um, to give it more of like a chalky textured finish. Um, so I'm just gonna take my spoon put some baking soda in there and then do this at home if you want, but otherwise get a stick, but I'm just gonna mix it up with my spoon because it's what I'm working with right now. So once it's mixed, then I will go ahead and paint it on. I might need some more. You just are kind of looking for like a thick finish. So just keep adding baking soda until you get there. Okay, I'm gonna call that good to start. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting some on there and see what it looks like. I'm not going to be very careful about making sure it's smooth or anything like that because I do want kind of a messy 
textured look. So um, I'm just gonna kind of messy, messily, if that's a word, I'm gonna kind of just put it on there kind of randomly. Um, because this vase already has texture, I don't think there's any way I can mess it up. Um, already so much better, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna keep putting it on. I'm putting it on kind of thick. Um, the only reason I would, at this point, it looks like the only reason I would need to do a second layer or second coat is because um, it needs more texture, which what I'll probably do is once I finish the first coat, I will put more baking soda in so it's thicker and then um, the baking soda also adds like a chalkiness to it, so that's really great because you don't have to have chalk paint necessarily to get that look. So, and of course, got it on my sleeve. So what I'm doing to give it a little bit more texture is just kind of like, now that it's starting to dry a little bit, just kind of slapping on more in random directions, um, like thickly on top. So it's just kind of creating some different texture. Yeah, I think this is gonna look really good. Okay, so it's almost covered, except the spot in the front here. Okay, so then, again, just like slapping on some extra and making it look just kind of more, giving it some more variation. Okay, so coat number one, I would say is done. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry and then I will assess kind of the texture. I might go back over it with another coat of paint and add extra baking soda to that coat just to give it extra texture. But I'm pretty happy with the way it looks so far. I know it's probably hard to tell, but it just makes it way more neutral and just something that I will actually use in my home. Um, and again, $6.99 plus $1.25 for like a fourth of this paint. So. Um, I think it's going to turn out great. So I let it dry and besides the inside where there's clumps, it's all dry. Um, so I'm actually really happy with it. I don't even think it needs a second coat. Um, get it kind of closer so you guys can see, but it has let a lot of good texture left over. You can see the baking soda just added some texture. Um, there's all these imperfections on the other side, so I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And um, next, we're gonna style it. And that is it. This was a super simple project that literally was under $10 and took maybe 15 to 20 minutes of my time. So I would say it was definitely worth it and I love the way that it turned out. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe so you can see my next videos and blog posts. I post every Friday and you can expect similar content to this. Thanks for watching, see you guys next week.